With an overwhelming number of note-taking apps out there, we often end up spending too much time deciding which one to use. Among all the options, Obsidian and Google Keep stand out as two of the most effective choices. Obsidian appeals to users who want to structure and manage information deeply, while Google Keep offers a straightforward platform perfect for jotting down quick thoughts and managing everyday tasks. In this video, we'll compare the two so you can find out which one suits your routine the best. Obsidian, while being a robust and capable note-taking tool, can appear overwhelming at first glance. Its interface is packed with sidebars, icons, and buttons that may feel distracting, especially for users looking to quickly capture notes. It does get easier with time, but the initial learning curve could be discouraging. In Obsidian, you work with two primary modes, Edit Mode for writing and Preview Mode to view the formatted version. Google Keep, by contrast, excels in simplicity. The interface is clean and intuitive, with a left-hand panel offering basic navigation and the main workspace prominently in the center. At the top of the screen, you'll find a prompt saying, take a note. Just click and you're ready to go. You can customize your notes with images, attachments, and colorful backgrounds to suit your style. Sharing notes is also effortless. Just add collaborators. Google has struck a solid balance between ease of use and functionality, making its interface much more accessible to the average user. Obsidian operates as a fully offline application, meaning all your notes are stored directly on your device, whether it's your desktop, laptop, or smartphone. The files are saved in Markdown format, a simple text-based file with added formatting. You don't need an internet connection to access, edit, or create notes. Because everything's stored locally, your information stays private and secure. If you want to sync your notes across devices, you'll need to use a third-party service like Dropbox or Google Drive and set up synchronization manually. On the other hand, Google Keep is built around cloud storage. It saves all your notes to Google servers and automatically syncs any changes you make across your devices as long as you're logged in your Google account. Create a note on your phone and you'll find it instantly on your laptop. One of its major strengths is its highly customizable environment. It features a wide ecosystem of plugins, some come pre-installed, while many others are created by the community. These plugins can add functions like daily journaling, task management systems, or integrations with third-party tools like GitHub. Google Keep, in comparison, favors simplicity. You can change the color of notes, add images, and apply labels to categorize your content, but the customization options end there. The overall appearance of the app can't be changed and there are no plugins or themes. While you can add drawings, voice memos, and reminders, these features are built in and non-customizable. This limited flexibility helps keep the app light and easy to use, but won't satisfy users looking for deeper personalization. When it comes to advanced capabilities, Obsidian really starts to shine. One of its standout features is the graph view, which acts like a visual mind map, displaying all the links between your notes. A more focused version, called the Local Graph, shows how the current note connects with related ones. These connections are created through bi-directional links, meaning when you link note A to note B, both notes become aware of each other. This allows you to move through your notes like a personal wiki. These connections automatically show up in the graph view, giving you a powerful visual overview of your note system. Google Keep doesn't offer any features in this category. Its core strength lies in keeping things simple, which means there are no graphs, backlinks, or support for markdown formatting. It's perfect for lightweight note-taking, but it lacks the advanced structure and tools that Obsidian offers. Obsidian gives users complete control over how their notes are arranged. You can create folders to organize notes traditionally, or use tags to group them by topic or theme. Many users even develop personal systems combining both methods to create what's sometimes called a second brain. Notes can also be linked to each other, helping you build an interconnected system of ideas. GraphU further enhances this by showing all these connections visually. Google Keep keeps things much simpler. You can add labels to notes, similar to tags, assign different colors for quick visual organization, and pin your most important notes to the top. It's an easy, effective way to manage short-term tasks and reminders. You can also create checklists, and once items are checked off, they automatically move to the bottom of the note, making it perfect for shopping or to-do lists. While it's not built for long-form writing or complex note systems, it does offer a user-friendly structure for everyday use. 
So, which note-taking app should you go for? Obsidian or Google Keep? Let's ask a more important question. Do you prefer simplicity or depth? If you're someone who enjoys customizing their tools, values privacy, and needs a system for deep, structured organization, Obsidian is likely the better fit. If you're looking for a lightweight, intuitive app that helps you jot things down quickly and collaborate easily, Google Keep is the way to go.